wanted to do a broadhead sharpening series videos, but just haven't got around to it. So, being as it's a hundred some degrees outside, um, I thought now would be a good time to put something together. I, uh, I'm going to demonstrate how to put a razor edge on a replaceable blade type broadhead. It's real simple, only takes a few minutes. Um, say for instance the slick tricks where everybody's complaining about how broad they have been, how dull they have been. Um, you can take one of these blades within five minutes time, have it shaving hair off your arm, your face, armpits, whatever. So um, I'm going to illustrate that here for you. Uh, all you'll need is a piece of leather. Uh, I use a piece of old welder's jacket. You can use a leather belt. All right, here's my setup. Uh, I have a piece of leather stapled to a piece of plywood, and I just clamp it to the table. That way, when I'm done, I can get rid of it out of the way. Here's my GATCO clamp. Uh, this is the most important part that you need here to hold the blade. All right, I'm filming this by myself. I don't have a helper, so bear with me. Um, what you want to do is, is take the blade, okay, open the jig up and turn the blade so it's parallel with the edges of the jig. Uh, you want to have it sticking out about, I don't know, an eighth of an inch I guess, but make sure it's parallel to the jig. If you can see here, you can see here's the blade, here's the edge of the jig, it's nice and parallel. That's important for your sharpening. Alright, another thing on your piece of leather, you want to make sure that you've got uh, some sort of polish or, or stropping compound. I use the Yellowstone uh, stropping compound on here. Uh, it's really good stuff. It's only about six, seven bucks. So you, you can find it on the internet. Um, it, it's really good stuff. I would, I would highly recommend it. Alright, I hope you can see shows up here on the camera. What you do is take, here's your jig base that it would normally sit in on a GATCO. Just take this out. All you're using this is, a, is as a holder. That's all. You take it and lay it as flat as possible as you can. What I do is I use my finger underneath as a guide and then you just slowly draw it back. I do it for ten times and you can see with the Yellowstone compound, you'll see the line that uh, is left by the blade. So that shows you that you're getting the entire blade across that compound. Once you start out, all right, once, once you've got the blade into the jig, um, you don't need a whole lot uh, of stropping on here. Uh, what I usually end up with is anywhere from 10 to 20. Uh, strokes on each side and usually you know it'll, it'll shave the hair off your arm. All they do is lay it down flat. I use kind of like my finger as a guide. You want it as flat as possible and then just draw it back. When you start out, start out slow. You know it's more important to do it slow but now that I've been doing it, you know, I'll go like something like this. I'll do it for about ten times. Okay and then just flip it over, nice and horizontal as you can get, and do it ten more times. Okay. Once you do that, take a rag, wipe it off, check your edge. I even use a uh, magnifying glass. You don't have to go that far. Then do it in increments of five. Five more. Flip it over. Five more. Main thing is is to keep this as horizontal as possible. You'll even see the edge of your jig uh, gets real shiny. That means uh, you've got it in the proper angle, doing it the right way. Look at the edge, very edge of your blade. It should start to really get shiny, a polished edge, and that's what you're looking for. Okay. Once you've done that, you can check the blade sharpness any way you want. You can shave the hair off your arm. You can nick yourself make yourself bleed, you know, it's sharp that way. Um, 
what did it take me? A whole couple minutes just to do one blade. Uh, after you're done that side, just take the blade out, flip it over, reinsert it, tighten it down, and then do this side. Really not much to it. Your blades, and you can see how sharp it is. So you can you can touch up brand new broadheads and make them razor sharp, regardless how they come out of the package. Okay, uh, even uh, this is the new Snuffer SS. You can do the same thing with this type broadhead. Just put it on the leather and draw it back straight back to you. Equal number of strokes. Flip it. Equal number of strokes. Flip it again. You know, try to keep it all equal. Just watch your edge and uh, it won't take long and you'll have it shaven sharp.